cover from the basic research up to the technological en enhancement. Again, thank you very much for the Hazel and Kawai and Liu Man for your for your try. You know, uh, again, it is not right or wrong. You you are answering the the right thing. Yeah, technology de development uh, uh, stages that you can apply for. Uh, you can do the technology transfer as well. Yes, but generally in the people's mind. Whenever you have the technology ready, you want so you can do the technology transfer. Actually, it is must be corrected. <clears throat> you know, for my case, I have two. Ten, I have four technologies. Uh, one of it I already I already put in the, uh, on the on the table. So it's not it's not good. And some of the industry have the thing. You know, so I give the I give the the, the to the industry from the basic research with uh, going to be more further in that one. Why? Because of at which, which stage you can protect your idea. So basically, whenever you, you, you can protect your idea, you can do the technology transfer. Technology transfer is all about the protection of the ideas. When you can conceal your ideas, it doesn't matter you start from the basic research, apply research, and so on. If you can protect your idea, either copyright, either patent, either trademark, and so on, you can transfer the idea you can do the technology transfer, all right? So it fulfills the basic requirement or the basic things as posited by the Henry Chesbro for the open innovation model as previously learned. You know, there are so many ideas internally realized. Now we have to be established ideas do the technology transfer at a stage to make sure that we can utilize the technology to its fullest. You know, instead of waiting for our company to use the technology, which is perhaps we don't have any resources, we don't have any manpower to run for the technology or the idea. So we give it to the other companies to run for the ideas by licensing, by selling the technologies and so on. So that's why in the technology transfer, the beauty is as long as you can protect the idea, you can transfer the technology. It doesn't matter at which stages of the idea. Okay, I hope everybody is clear on this one. All right. It's a very simple concept. Thank you again for those who answered. You are doing a good job, right? Okay, so a lot of model uh, for the technology transfer that we can use to do the technology transfer, such as the Bazaki model, Berman and Wallander model, Dalman and Westphal model, Noshley, Redno and what model? A lot of models. You can do your study in this one. You know, please uh, do, uh, do some other readings on that one. So I will not go through 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 all of these graphs, you know. I will do I will go into the detail of this one, uh, rather than uh, you know focusing on the graph. You can do your your study later on. Okay, the basic model of the transfer basically Samli 1985 suggested a basic model cover the German in technology transfer, i.e. sender. So again, in the technology transfer, you have a very big ecosystem. You know, you have a very big ecosystem. Uh, now, now we are talking about the transfer, you know, the technology provider and transfer the technology receiver, uh, receiver, and then the intermediaries. You know, you have to have the negotiator. You must have the intermediaries to make sure that you are not in the trap, you know, between the deals and so on. So both of the parties, either transfer or transfer, you can appoint in intermediaries to make sure that you can do this technology transfer properly. So the way components interact with each other does influence the success of technology transfer. The meaning of this one is basically whenever you have the components of the technology transfer, such as the transfer or transfer, intermediaries, you know, other agents and so on, interaction of all of the stakeholders in this one that, that can guarantee the success of the technology transfer. If you if you have less communication, you know, insufficient communication of the in the in the ecosystem of technology transfer, believe me, it's going to be very hard for the people to accept your technology or for the people to 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 give you the technology. All right. So it is a very vital component of the technology transfer. All right. Accordingly, as senders attempt to reconcile between their needs and their willingness to transfer. As the receiver attempt to balance their needs and readiness to absorb technology, they both transact in a manner influenced by their experience of prior technology transfer. So meaning that 
if you have the sender, you have the uh, you know the, the the recipients or receivers, you know, they they have their own condition, they have their own experience and so on. So the the transaction is basically you know affected by this condition, not just only for the uh, technology the kind of the technology complexity, but also the ability of the receiver to receive it. So they don't have any experience, so they must learn, they must uh, you know uh, get get ready on this one. Some some of the uh, receivers they don't have the the capacity, the ability to accept the technology. Imagine that if the Tesla suddenly offers you to get the battery technology for free, but you don't have the facility. So that's the problem with the uh, receiver and so on. So this is the dilemma, this is the problem, the gaps in the door. Technology transform monitored above from somewhere to someone. Okay. So this is the basic model of technology transfer. You know, the the the, the, the thinking is the technology is moved from somewhere to someone. So this is the, the conventional thinking of technology transfer. On the technology transfer simple model, so you have the transfer, you have the owner of the technology, you have the supplier, you have the sender of the technology. Now you have the transfer, acquire, buyer, or the recipient of the technology. Both now we have intermediaries and linking mechanism. For example, in UTM, we have the ICC, you know, Innovation and Commercialization Center that handles between transfer and transfer. Why the transfer cannot handle the case by themselves? They can actually, but the problem is, for example, in UTM, the lecturers, we are the lecturers, we don't have enough time to focus on the technology transfer. We have a lot of other things, you know, we don't have the expertise, for example, for me, I have my own experience. I'm practically doing all of this. But for new lecturers, for example, if they have technology, you know, they cannot jump into the field to sell their products to the industry or sell their technologies to transfer to the industry. They cannot do it because of they don't have the capacity or the expertise they need to use the intermediaries. That is where the ICC comes from. So the ICC will help. Uh, the the, the uh, transfer to promote the products to the transfer and to deal and to make an arrangement about the pricing and so on. So the the, the function of the intermediaries are very you know important in this uh, connection. In the ecosystem, all right. As you can see from the graphs, it's from this graph because of it is uh, quite, uh, you know time consuming. You can read by your own, all right. So, uh, as for this one, I will do some explanation. As you can see, a lot of things happening in the technological uh, transfer, such as you must have the transfer agent, transfer media, transfer object, transfer recipient, demand environment, and so on. And the effectiveness based on the cost, scientific and technical human capital, political factors, economic development, public value, market impact, out the door. So this is all of the, uh, you know, transfer objects, effectiveness, factors that enhance the uh, successfulness of the process technology transfer between transfer and transfer. All right. <clears throat> so this is the basic model of technology transfer as explained by Sam Lee, 1985. It's still, it's still again, it's still uh, relevant up until now because of we are using the similar model, okay? So we have the sender, okay, okay? We have the sender with the needs and Now, we have the technology, okay? We have the technology in contact. We have the river of the technology. Of course, both of the parties, either the senders. So the thing is, is it the, the, the receiver to get the technology the platform required to run the, for the technology? If the technology is simple, yes, no problem. But what if the technology is very complex? For example, to try clear technology, the reactor technology from Malaysia to Uganda. Then we know that the, the, the condition of the Uganda, how is it and so on. So is it 
are they ready to 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 gain for the technology? So now for the technology, we have the mechanism, a lot of mechanism, and we have all right of the technology. All right. So this is must be done. Sender cost barrier. So again, as you can see here, whenever the sender send the mechanism or the technology, they, they, they will conceal the technology to some extent, to some level. And some of the receiver, they will have to understand the, uh, the concealed technology first, the technology in thought first. So some of the sender, they send the mechanism, which is it's not easy to be understood by all of the recipients. So the sender itself caused the barrier to the receiver. So that's why the receiver, if they think about the future of the, uh, of the technology transfer, they must do the assessment of the technology with the sender as well. So this is the, 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 the mechanism as well as proposed by the assembly 1985. So receiver caused barrier again to the technology. Why? Because of they don't understand. Right? They don't understand the technology. They don't have the capacity to do. This background must be very strong. Sender's knowledge of receiver's background must be very established. You must know who is the receiver. You must know who is what is the big company ready to accept your technology? Do they have enough staff technological advancement to support, uh, you know, in order to receive your technology? So this is the job by the sender to study about the receiver or you can appoint, you can appoint the intermediaries to do the study as well to make sure that, you know, whenever you give the technology to the people, it's your reputation, it's your technology. It cannot be left behind. And for the practical use of the technology transfer, it must be both win-win situation. It cannot be just only you to give the technology and for the others receivers, you know, you can let go. No, you must take care of the receiver as well. So it's, a, it's a fair play, all right? So receiver's background, again, you must understand the reach of the markets, you know, the raw materials, labor, know-how, willingness, and the ability, and so on. So now we move into the, okay, right, before I move uh, forward, uh, any, any question, guys, on this one, on this matter? Please, you need to be very, very clear on this one. Very clear on this one. Any question, please? Hello, anybody home? <laughs> How are you doing, guys? Any question, please? No, oh my God. Clear, yeah. okay, all right. That's great. <laughs> okay, you mind, you have any question? Uh, I don't have any question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, we will continue. <clears throat> okay, so this is the business aspects of the technology transfer. Most technology transfers are the commercial are commercial transactions. So basically, it's a business transaction. So business enterprise as a vehicle to introduce technology to society with a set of objectives. So we need to use the business as a vehicle. You know, it cannot be run under the government platform. Why? Because of the government, the government basically are not focusing on the business like I previously I said, you know, uh, uh, previously we discussed about. So the business is basically the enablers of the uh, environment of the technology transfer, right? As a complementary arrangement between two or more firms with business experience, energy transfer is generally being, being transferred through commercial transaction. So whenever we talk about the commercial transaction, is meaning the the, the, the the transition involved with the money, with the profit, with the revenue, with the things regarding on the monetized things and so on. All right. So each party technology transfer should stand to benefit from the transfer and thus should have a stake in its such a success. So what if if you if you put any parties in this one or the send 
you know, uh, the, the each party, you know, should have a stake in its success. For example, if the sender successfully transfer the technology to the receiver, the receiver must be successful as well in terms of doing their business. So this is the rule of thumb of the technology transfer. It cannot be one party only or one side only success in terms of the technology transfer. Yes, nowadays we can see a lot of one-sided technology transfer. For example, when uh, the established company give the technology to one other company, uh, a new established company, sometimes they just want to have the income generation. They just want to sell the technology. They don't want to take care anymore about the technological advancement or the successful of the business of the receiver. It's totally wrong. In the business, in the in the in the technology transfer, we must have to think about the party who receive or who send the technology. Both are the uh, you know uh, uh, symbiosisly connected towards each other. All right. So technology transfer is one of several strategies available to business that we should use or expand markets for their. Uh, so that is one of the top of tools expand, not just only technology transfer, you have the franchising, franchise strategy, and so on, a lot of. But technology transfer, one of the, the, the prominent uh, strategies up until now, is still being applicable to many in the established become, for example, Apple, you know, they have a technology transfer with Tesla. Tesla, they have technology transfer with Samsung. They have technology transfer with other parties and so on. So this is a very, very, you know, uh, big uh, uh, ecosystem of the technology transfer involved with many industries that uses the technology transfer concept for their business, right? So changing business attitude approach towards technology transfer so, this, you know, and 1930s, you know, prevalent belief that the technology was an active application to so protect your idea internally without giving to other people, you know, you will be more successful in the business. Yeah. Why? Because of during that time, the life cycle of the technology is very long. You know, nowadays, there are so many innovations. You know, when, when you create something, you know, you can see a lot of competitors are doing exactly better than you. So the life cycle of the technology now is going to be very, very short. So that's why you cannot use this similar prevalent belief that technology was more scalable when carefully guarded and applied only to captive application. Because of the technology move so fast. If you if you put the silo to your technology without giving it to other people to utilize or giving it to other industries to utilize, you cannot gain anything from it because of it will be obsolete with no time, all right? So transition from over-emphasized trade secret mentality to the acceptance of technology transfer as an element of business strategy. There is an increasing recognition that active technology transfer program and captive application of technology can coexist for maximum yield. So the meaning of this one is basically, whenever you apply the technology transfer concept to your business, for sure that you can gain a lot of benefit, a lot of profit out of it. So instead of putting your technology into your internally without using, without you utilizing the technology, now you can generate a lot of income, a lot of profit to your stake shareholders, stakeholders and, for, uh, and, and, and anybody important in your company, now compared to the internally develop the products and so on. So this is the technology transfer. This is the changing of business attitude. Why technology transfer is very important, right? So willingness to apply marketing strength and resources to technology transfer effort with the growing trend of internationalization with well-managed, vigorous licensing organization and recognition of technology transfer as an effective instrument of corporate strategy. Now again, why technology transfer becoming a phenomenal nowadays? Why a lot of industries jump into this technology transfer? Guys, I need an answer on this one. So anybody could please suggest at least one answer to this one. Why the technology transfer becomes a phenomenon nowadays and being applied everywhere without any problems? Please, 
Anybody? I'm waiting, guys. Anybody? Or shall I pick up the names? <laughs> okay. Uh, Muhammad Rafi at Tahari. Yes, yes, doctor. Okay. Do you have any idea on that one? Uh, in my opinion, uh, there's a lot of like company. Uh, don't want to, don't want to spend a lot of money on R and I think. So they okay, they acquire some technology. Okay, all right. Why why they they do the technology? Uh, thank you very much for the answer. Um, okay. Uh, but again, what is the motivation for them to do the technology transfer? Why why? They, they are so for the technology transfer, right? Why? Uh, Nur Habibi. Yes, sir. Okay. Please suggest why? Uh, uh, sorry, doctor. Can you uh, repeat the question again? Okay. Nowadays, we know that the technology transfer becoming a phenomenal uh, mm -hmm. new norms in the industry. You know, a lot of technology transfer happening in the industry and so on. So, what is the what? Why is this happen? And what is the motivation for industries to make this happen? Why? Why? <laughs> because uh, I think the. Uh, the company nowadays, uh, there are a lot of startup company. Okay. And um, they want to develop their, their technology as well. So they do the technology transfer. Okay. Okay. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Again, at least, at least you try your best. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Um. Thank you very much again. Okay. Rifat Sofian. Ah uh, yes, doctor. Okay. Do you have any suggestion on that one? Uh, can you repeat the question? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sorry, doctor. Sorry. You know, uh, okay. Okay. I think now Habibi can repeat the question. Habibi, please repeat the question. Okay, the doc, uh, doctor's question is about why the technology transfer become phenomenal nowadays, right, doctor? Yeah, yeah. Why? Why? What is the motivation behind it? Okay, Rifat Sofian. Do you have any, any suggestion on this one? Uh, I think because nowadays there is a technological developments, I think, and many country or many industries are, are using the technology transfers. Okay, that's also that's quite general, but still, at least you try your best. Okay, thank you very much. I need other other students to answer as well. Uh, one Naziha. Yes, doctor. Do you have any idea on this one? In my opinions, uh, now this um, they have many competitive uh, between each other. Okay. So um they they want to protect their idea or any um development that they want to do. So they keep maybe they keep do some changing but uh, but based on their surrounding changing. Uh that's all my uh, thank you. Uh, almost there, almost there, almost there. <laughs> thank you very much. Almost. Okay. Near near Bus Eye. Okay. Thank you very much for the answer. Aina Irdina. Aina Irdina, are you there?
Okay, saya nak edit dina. Lim Lit Peng. Lim Lit Peng, do you have any suggestion on this one? Please. I'm trying now. Okay, okay. Never mind, guys. I just want to make sure that all of you are in front of the screen, you know, <laughs> listen to the lecture. Okay. All right. So the answer of that question is basically because of the nature of the intellectual property rights protection. You know, that's that's how that's that's why the technology transfer could be done nowadays. You know, a lot of companies doing the technology transfer. Why? The motivation behind it because of they can secure their their technology. Previously, they didn't have any such of doing the protection of the technology. Now we have the IPR, intellectual property rights. So whenever you want to transfer the technology, you know that you are safe. So the motivation is there. Or oh, now I have I, I'm safe because of the structure of the uh, protection is there. I can conceal my technology. I can give the technology to the people, to transfer to the people without worry, worrying the people steal the technology from me. So because of the protection. Everybody, all students, now you, you have, uh, you know, change of your mindset as well. You know, the protection is, is the most vital component of the technology transfer. Without protection, there is no technology transfer happen. I mentioned this one previously in the slides. You know? So again, uh, we discuss uh, this one uh, from time to time and maybe as well. It's good. Believe me, it's good. All right. Thank you. So changing trend from not invented here syndrome to a more receptive. More receptive meaning you can absorb new technology attitude towards technology developed abroad. So some of the previous thinking, you know, whenever you, you create something and you transfer the technology to other countries, the people in the countries sometimes in the previous uh, years, you know, long time ago, they cannot accept the technology easily because of the mindset of not invented here syndrome. So now during this modern times, because of the globalization, you know, the the uh, the uh, what we call the effectiveness of the social media and so on, not invented here syndrome seems to be reducing. So this is the best thing about the technology transfer. When you don't have the not invented here syndrome, the transfer of the technology can become more easier and more fluid, all right? So changing trend, trend from watch and see and reactive attitude towards a more aggressive, proactive search for technology mentality. So now we have the technology, we have the, for example, in Malaysia, we have the My IPO, the platform for the people to search for a pattern, track marks, and so on. So it is easier. It is what we call as the aggressive or proactive search for technology mentality. A lot of people, a lot of industries now taking into advantage of the technology transfer, you know, they are searching for a new technologies, they are searching for a new innovation that is still not patented and do the patent, you know, and they, they patent, they do the IPR and so on to make sure they can secure the technology and gain the profit out of it. So this is the current situation, the changing trends, right? And technology transfer becomes globally oriented and will continue to be so with the free movement of the technological assets and information sharing across national borders and improving protection of IP in many parts of the world. So now just only a few countries in the world basically not oblique or not uh, accepting the rule of the IP. Okay, for example, the North Korea, they don't accept some of the portion of the countries or the other states in the world for the pattern and so on. So they are not respecting those and some other countries as well. So when we solve all of this problem, when all 
the countries globally can accept the, the 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 pattern structure you know the pattern filing we can see the better brighter future of the technology transfer all right and growing number of reverse technology transfer so what is reverse technology transfer for example when you do the technology transfer with other companies or with the receiver the receiver do the adjustment of the technology and transfer and reverse the technology back to you through some arrangement why because of they already knows about the technology they already implemented the technology in their company rather than the owner which is not utilizing the technology in their firms now other firms understand more of the technology and reverse technology transfer could be done so this is a growing number of reverse technology transfer so technology and business why is technology is being developed by business enterprise again we are doing we are answering the same the same question previously because of the government they didn't have the capacity to run for the business and how do companies utilize the technology so this a lot of uh, uh, question regarding how do companies utilize the technology and which business use technology and for what purpose you know recall what business strategy is Guys, is business strategy any any answer, please? Guys, anybody could suggest this one. What is business strategy? I believe that you learned this one from the MOT. What is business strategy? All right. I can hear the words still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please, please. What is business strategy? Please. Uh, business strategy is kind of like the plans and the uh, strategic plans uh, for a business to attend to, to attend its goals. Okay. All right. Uh, so there's a uh, there's a general answer. Thank you very much for the answer. By the way. Okay. Uh, this one, I need you to refer on your previous study and to refer properly what is business strategy all right because of in in this class i supposedly not to explain about the business strategy since you already have taken the course of the management of technology and what is technology strategy <laughs> one more question what is technology trans strategy okay guys any suggestion this session is recorded so for those uh, who answer the question, perhaps, you know, whenever you have the near border marks, perhaps this is the, 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 the thing that will support you to get a better marks. So just, just participate in the session, you know. Who knows what happens next? Okay, what technology strategy is? Uh, doctor? Yeah. Uh, I think the technology strategy is more like business plan. Are you sure? <laughs> this one you are you already learned in the management of technology, right? Okay. Okay, thank you very much for the answer, Habibi. I, I appreciate don't your know. answer. I don't tell me to try. Uh, ah, okay, so many students want to try right now. Thank you, thank you. Peace. So uh, for me, uh, technology strategy is uh, objective or principle of how the technology is used. Uh, <laughs> okay, where do you get that statement from? <laughs> <laughs> or just by yourself? Okay, I think, I think, I think uh, we have the answer as well in the chat box. Thank you very much to those who put the answer. Overall plan from different department to set a proper long-term vision and achieve it by coordination of the different techniques, expertise and models. This one is still for the, uh, for what? Okay. Okay, Lee, you, you man, answer this one. Okay, good job. Thank you very much. Okay, for those who try uh, answer again, in my class, whenever you participate in the class, either right or wrong, uh, you will have a special privilege later on for your final marks. All right. Thank you again for the answer. Thank you again. Okay, I will explain after this. All right. Business strategy organization set out a strategy to achieve desired objective. Okay. 
Alright. <laughs> Good job, Diana. Shikin Diana. Okay. Alright. So, uh, I will continue the session. Please do your study. Okay. Please do your revision about this business strategy and digital strategy. However, very few companies have organized their technology transfer efforts systematically enough for commercial purpose and for strategic reasoning. So, we go to the strategy after this. So, so this one, I will not go in, the, in detail. So, this is the technology strategy. Uh, business strategy or the uh, uh, business strategy you have to find by your own. I want to see in the chat box if you want to contribute more ideas. And this session, again, recorded. So, you may contribute your ideas. All right. So, technology strategy. Strategy involves envisioning and planning for the future. It's a very simple one. Strategy involves envisioning and planning for the future. So this is the technology strategy, all right? So technology strategy is the task of building, maintaining, and exploiting total sum of companies' technological asset. Okay, all right. So technology strategy refers to the choice that company makes in acquiring, developing, and deploying technology in order to achieve their business goals, all right? So this is the technology strategy definition, point number two and point number three. Point number one, definition for the strategy. So strategy is the envisioning and planning for the future, okay, all right? So technology strategy should be linked, consistent and supportive of business strategy. So what is your business strategy based on your objectives? So that's very simple one. So I think I have the, the, the answer here. Okay. Yeah, desired objective. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for the answer. Good job. Okay. While business strategy is to gain sustainable economic advantage, technology strategy concerns with the sustainable technological advantage leading to competitive edge. So this one is the combination. Uh, the best is the combination between technology strategy and the business strategy must be in the same line. So uh, you must you must do the planning as well in, into the company or the, 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 the researcher or the uh, sender or the receiver of the technology. They must have this one in the very strategic manner. Technology strategy, overall plan to build technology, okay, to support business or NGO vision. Okay, can be as well. Thank you very much for the answer. All right. So technology strategy as a business strategy, all right? So technology transfer is basically economic activity undertaken for the purpose of uh, to make sure they can further the firm's commercial objectives. So for two reasons, opportunity and necessity, and retaining or expanding market due to competition, extending technology or product life cycle, cost reduction, taking advantage of lower costs in other location. For example, if you do your business in Kuala Lumpur and you have the manpower you hire in Kuala Lumpur and suddenly you have the receiver, they want to have your technology in Johor or in Kuala Terengganu or in Kelantan and so on. So you sell or you can license your technology to them because of they realize that if they do the, 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 the business in KL as well, they will face a lot of problems. So when they have the opportunity to ask you, and you can transfer the technology to other places. We can reduce reduce the cost and so on. So this is the opportunity that you can get from the transferee. You know, it's still a win-win situation. The transferee or the receiver of the technology can do their business properly, and you can also, uh, you know, distribute your technology in a very safe manner. All right. So you must understand the reg regulatory requirement or reasons taking advantage of incentives. So in Malaysia, we have so many incentives regarding on the technology transfer, technology acquisition, and so on. And if we, we also have the grants or the funding from the government that covers on the technology acquisition. For example, if you want to in, improve your company's efficiency in terms of, uh, for example, operation, new machine, and so on, you can apply for the acquisition fund, technology acquisition fund, that you want to acquire from other places in the world, for example, from the US, from the Europe, and so on, which they, they show that the, 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 the technological uh, advancement is better compared to us and can reduce the cost and so on. The government of Malaysia, they can support 
to for the company to buy or to to acquire the technology from from them. So why why the government support uh, these uh, efforts of the technology transfer to make sure that locals can learn something about the technology they obtain uh, with. For example, if they obtain new technology advancement from the Tesla, from the Microsoft, and so on. Later on, we have the locals with the ability to understand the cutting edge technology, and perhaps we can build our own, you know, uh, center uh, letter with the help of the local experts from the technology transfer. So that's the vision and mission of the uh, Malaysian government, right? So efficiency, advantage of incentive, poor in-house capability. So uh, this is uh, the, the reason of why uh, the technology transfer happened because of one of it is because of the poor in-house capability and requires uh, more advanced uh, technology, more advanced or more better uh, in terms of equipment for the, center, for the receiver to have your technology. And competitive pressure to keep abreast with the latest technology and better access to technological information with improved ICT, all right? So why must a technology transfer be treated as a business strategy? So again, the rate of change in technological development, again, as I said previously, shorter product life cycle. So it's a business strategy. It's not for a long-term use, but, also, but for very short term, very short time period for the uh, product life cycle, that's number one. And rise in the competition, changes in the cost of labor and other factors of production. Imagine that if not, uh, we, if we are not putting this one into the business strategy, how we want to manage all of these changes, the cost of labor and other factors of production and so on. It's very tricky things to be done. And slow down in economic growth and diluted local market. It is important to recognize technology transfer as a long-term business strategy rather than one of economic activity. As I said, previously mentioned previously, you know, when you jump into the field of the technology transfer, it's all happening in a very long term, you know. Uh, for example, for the protection of the pattern can last longer up to the 21 year, uh, 20, 20, 20 years uh, of protection. So that's how the duration of your business with the company or the receiver they can receive the technology and can utilize the technology up to that long before it, it turns to the public domain. So imagine this one is not one year, it's not three months, it's not four months. It's all about the 10 years, 15 years, and 20 years of the business. So like many other seriously considered strategy, technology transfer requires an investment of time and other resources to plan and to execute. You know, when before you can execute the technology transfer, a lot of costs will involve like myself, when I want to transfer, I want to give to the company or to give to the uh, receiver of the technology, I must do the preliminary study, you know, I must do the promotion, I must do the negotiation, you know, I must bring the things regarding on the technology, prepare the mock-up, prototype, and so on. A lot of things involving so many costs. But again, this one, it is a must for the technology transfer before you can generate a profit. So sometimes the duration of the uh, marketing and so on for the technology transfer can long lasting up to the four, five years. So this is the, the, the reality that you must face before you put your technology into your, 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 your storage, into the silo because of nobody wants to invest on the technology, for example. So too many sticks, too many things that you must, you must uh, think about, you must consider whenever you want to do the technology transfer deals with the, uh, either sender or the receiver of the technology transfer, right? <clears throat> so types of technology transfer arrangement and ahead, okay? So now uh, I will uh, stop here uh, for the turnkey and so on. So guys, any question before we, we, we stop the session? I will stop by five. So. I will give some time for us to discuss about this, uh, uh, what we call about this uh, topic, you know. So this is the week number three. Uh, by other week, we will complete the topic number four. So ten key, sorry, types of technology transfer and ahead is basically under the topic number four. So guys, if you have any question, if you have any suggestion you want to ask, please.
doctor i have a question um, right. technology transfer is uh, very common with the big companies or like small companies i want to know okay actually uh, actually it's both but more uh, frequent frequently happen in the big companies like samsung uh, like, yes yes because yeah. uh, and what about the uh, small companies the startup companies and okay uh, the, good good question basically the small company for example you know the whatsapp whatsapp application that we have developed by the small company first right so yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you and then that. transferred to facebook yeah. yes and uh, be transferred to the facebook and finally facebook buy everything from the yes. small companies right they they yeah, yeah. everything so that's how the structure of the technology transfer when you have the technology if you're not getting out the technology of your your firm uh, okay. due to your resources and so on you will be it will be wasted so when you ask the question small company or big company is actually uh, based on the context of the technology but okay. it happen in all environment even if without having a company uh, for example the researcher they don't have any company like my yes yes uh, so you know that, that's the, the the thing that we with the technology transfer i hope i answer your question yes doctor thank you for the question okay guys any other question please any other question uh my advice on this technology transfer you know technology transfer is one of the killer subjects in ahips to be honest with you guys one of the killer subjects why it becoming the killer subject in the in the ahips because of so many students they they are looking the technology transfer in the perspective of a students you know you have uh to do a lot more studies you know not just only in the lecture <coughs> you must study into the context of the company jump into the context of the company see the case of the samsung see the case of the apple and so on try to understand because of technology transfer is basically simple but if you don't understand the context very well it's going to be very hard so again you know try your best to do your study you know not just only on the slide i provided to you but also do your search in the youtube and so on because of technology transfer is common in every places as long as you understand the technology transfer concept believe me you can answer a lot of uh, things in the in the final examination as well as in the midterm as a uh, in the midterm test and so on so please understand the context of the technology transfer to your heart okay uh, please please understand very carefully you can ask me anytime in the group as well all right okay guys any other question <clears throat> so what is the meaning of idts you have to transfer this one to me as well you know you mind <laughs> no i don't okay, I, don't <laughs> i don't think it's a okay but then I don't think it's a cool <laughs> subject. I, I think okay, it's okay, okay. more. <laughs> Pardon? Math is harder. Pardon? Math, math is harder than this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But but when you have the interest of this one, when you understand the the implication of the technology transfer, uh, you know things going to be very very easier. You know uh, because of. you know the benefit of the technology transfer and believe me in all of the industries in the world nowadays they cannot run away from the technology transfer and we have a very limited person who knows about the technology transfer or experts in the technology transfer that's very sad so please guys struggle for this one believe me something going to happen to you when you expert in this technology transfer domain believe me okay guys i think that's all uh, for today Thank you very much for all of your participation. Uh, I hope that next time, uh, whenever you put your name in the Webex, please put your real name because of I will switch between Webex attendance and the Google Form attendance. You know to make sure uh, there are some uh, what we call technological usage as required by the faculty. And sometimes they want to have a Webex and so on, right? So please rename. Uh, and I know I know you have a popular names. you must put in a bracket as well you can put in a bracket as well but put your real name for the webex 
Okay, guys, if you don't have any question, so we will postpone our class to the next one. Uh, we will do a meeting on next next one by next uh, next uh, Tuesday, right? Isn't it? Right? Tuesday. Next Tuesday, 4 to 6. Right? Hello? It's a Wednesday, there is a class, right? Asynchronous. Ah, Wednesday is asynchronous. I will give activities in the in the forum. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. See you all later, guys. Bye bye. Take care. Assalamualaikum. Good evening. Bye bye. Thank you, doctor. All right. Thank you, doctor. Okay. You're welcome. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum. Bye. Waalaikumsalam. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, doctor, the attendance.